Hey guys, Ben here working on my hybrid pickup truck project. Uh, this project something that's kind of been in the back of my mind for uh, the last quite a few number of years now and unfortunately I've kept having a couple of different setbacks. I don't have any budget for this. This is the regular cab, which is great because it's lighter, smaller, more fuel efficient. The thing is, ironically, a standard cab pickup truck has next to zero cargo space. So I'd really like to do an extended cab, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell off this truck and what was my daily driver, but I already had that manual steering box. So I was able to get that manual steering box in here. The other thing is I don't have a, uh, an engine hoist, but I do have a, a, a block and tackle in my garage. So I thought, hey, you know what, if I could get steering in here, then at least maybe I could push it up into my garage. Uh, basically lift up the diesel engine, push the truck underneath, drop the diesel engine in there, and just see if it fits, you know? Because um, that's one thing, I've, I've taken some measurements, but it's hard to tell what's gonna go where exactly. So uh, let's take a look at the manual steering box down here. Okay, so there's the manual steering gear, and it's uh, held onto the truck frame by three bolts. Uh, one here, and then two underneath that go uh, right to the frame. Those have to be on there really nice and solid. And then the uh, input from the steering wheel is right here, and then the output to the, the steering is here. So if I just go grab the steering wheel, that's what that looks like. Um, there's no engine in here, the truck's not moving, and I can fairly easily uh, turn, turn the wheels to either direction. It's uh, not as easy as it would be with power steering, but uh, works fine. It's uh, certainly usable. Uh, so this truck's been sitting here for a while, so the brakes are probably all locked up, so I'll have to bust it loose. But once I can get it rolling, I can steer it, and I should be able to maneuver it around my driveway. Hopefully that means I can push it into my garage and drop the engine in. steering and of course this would probably roll better with some air in the tires uh, this truck's uh, getting kind of hard to push uphill if only I had some sort of electric tractor or something I could push it with. Okay, well, that's a diesel engine, and that's a S10 pickup truck. Uh, let's see if that fits. Well, the engine is more or less lowered down into the truck. It's uh, pretty cramped in here, but I added a light and I'm trying to give the best view that I can. We're, of course, looking at the, uh, you know, the front end of the truck. You can see it's a little cockeyed, and the reason why this isn't completely centered is uh, one thing that I noticed right away is uh, right down there, the, the steering, which has the yellow lettering on it, um, is interfering with what uh, was the air conditioning compressor bracket. Now there's no AC on here, so I'll be able to cut, hack, or otherwise remove that bracket. And then uh, should be okay, it should clear the steering. Now if you look, this thing right here is the original mounting point for this diesel engine, and more or less underneath it is kind of the spot on the truck where the original S10 engine would have went. So it's kind of sort of more or less lined up. And if you look over here, mm, kind, kind of sort of the same thing. Should be right down there. 
Um, and then of course back here we've got the starter and the bell for the transmission. And I'm also planning on not using the propeller instead of having an electric fan on the radiator. But let's uh, take a look from below. This right here, that's the steering, the manual steering gear. And this is that bracket for the air conditioner and it's it, uh, these two are blocking each other so I'll have to remove that bracket. But once I do I think I can get the engine centered. Now here's something else that's kind of a bit of a concern. Here's the oil pan and here's the, I can never remember what you call that thing, what is that, a torsion bar? Pfft, whatever, it kind of connects the one wheel to the other and I think that's going to be in the way but uh, that's just kind of a, a mechanical part um, that should be pretty easy to remove. Um, put something different in there, modify it, make it come out further to go around that oil pan, whatever. But the other thing to be careful of is right back here, the actual steering itself, because I do need that whole oil pan to clear that and the little road debris guard thingamajigger here. I do need that to be in front of all of that because, uh, hey, you know, you, you still got to steer. Um, but I think maybe without this here and taking that bracket off, um, I'd probably be able to lower in the engine and get it really right exactly where I want it to go and then I'd be able to figure out how to do those engine mounts. And, and of course this isn't even the actual truck that I'm going to convert to the hybrid truck. This is just an old standard cab. I decided that I definitely want to go with the extended cab. Um, that's going to give me some more space inside. It's going to give me that jump seat so uh, I can travel in it as a family. I can put the little girl in the back seat there um, and it provides a lot of room for uh, locking up my tools for work, things like that. Uh, but by putting the engine in here, I was kind of able to see how things line up and get a better sense of uh, figuring out what the next steps are in this project. So just wanted to let you know that the uh, hybrid truck project is still alive this is not it didn't come to a complete stop or anything it's still going on uh the only things limiting me are time skill and money but uh i'll keep uh working on it and uh you stay tuned for more on this project